everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to Mini Vlogmas. So anyway, I am on Mini Vlogmas number six. I'm so excited. I'm halfway through with the Mini Vlogmas series and it's just been a lot of fun getting a different coffee every day, <sighs> a lint truffle every day, a new Scentsy product and a new bottle of wine that you can't see what I'm uh, doing my little hand gestures to. But it's just been a lot of fun and just um and I just really love getting online and just uh, chatting with you all. So I want to give you a quick little thank you for joining me. And yeah, so um, I think I left work pretty early today. I mean, I, I don't remember what time it was. I remember I, I emailed Kimmy because she had dumped Kimmy from Kimmy's Boxes. She just said that she got the package out because I won another giveaway. And um, I replied, today, you are my last email. Even if my bosses call me, I'm not answering the phone. Yeah. So I came home and I had the heat on about 60 when I left this morning. I put the heat down. So it was cold in here. And um, yeah, so I went down the, the hallway and I put the heat, I took my mittens off, put the heat up to about 68 just to get chill out. Still had my, my coat on, still had my scarf on, still had my headband on. Sat down on the couch. I was out like that. And yeah, so I slept a couple of hours. It's, it's about 2 in the morning and I woke up about 15 minutes ago. So I just kind of went and tried to brush my hair and straighten my headband, um, took my coat off, but then it was freezing. So I had to put on this little uh, Barefoot Dreams uh, little sweater. It's, oh, it's like wearing a little blanket, so enjoying that. And put on some lip gloss and said, we are going to power through mini vlogmas number six because I want to sip a wine and go back to sleep. Yeah. I'll be up for a while. But anyway, so just again, thanks. It's just been so much fun. And um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So, got my Scentsy calendar. And door number six is right here at the bottom. Sometimes you see the numbers, but you don't see where you're supposed to open it. And cool, I got another little Scentsy, one of those little sample pods. This one is slay all day i don't think you can read it because it's this webcam just doesn't always want to pay attention to me Alrighty, i think i've smelled this one before but i'm not positive and i'm not sure because some of them are kind of all smell the same it's it's a pine that i can smell but not like not like well that's a fake tree behind me but not like a pine tree it's minty but not in your face mint but cool. So, okay, so cool like fresh air, fresh minty air like you've uh, brushed your teeth and you've got a little bit left and you go outside and you know when it's cold outside and you kind of take a deep breath and it kind of like that, that kind of minty sensation? And juniper. I think that's what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a sappier type thing. Not pine. Juniper. So juniper, soft mint, and fresh air. Yeah, that one is going to smell nice warming. And my coffee. <laughs> Don't you just love the way I, d I destroyed this? Yeah. Oh well, it's the same thing. So today, and the one I had last night, um, I forgot what it was called. It was maybe Holiday Magic Blend. To me, it didn't. It just tasted like a regular blend of coffee. So there, that was something I could drink every day. Some of these are just um, like the cinnamon dump bun, and there was like ginger and a sugar cookie and peppermint and they well they're all good and they were tasty it's not something like i would want to have five or six cups of them a day but that holiday magic one yeah i could so this one is jingle bell java and i like the way all the cake cups here have a you know a little different design on them it kind of just makes it fun Jingle Bell Java. So we will check that one out. Put my tree together again. And so I don't forget my Lindor truffle to go with my wine. And I've got a blue one. I think that's I think that was milk chocolate, I'm not sure. And my wine. So anyway. This is getting a little lighter now that I've, I already took out the bottle, so there's only six left. So it was the holiday wine countdown. And so far, it's just been nice. It's been wines um, basically from all over. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I, can't, I can't lift it up. It's still, 
yeah. But anyway, it's really fun. I would definitely do this again next year. And I got my line out. I already loosened the cap. And it's a Galata. It's a red wine blend from Turkey. So Galata and Turkey. Alrighty, so let's smell this bad boy. Oh, good girl. It is, it's a fruity mix, but it does, it does smell kind of strong. I got my friend here, Mr. Nutcracker, to help me. And it's red, so I don't want to spill. So let's do it over some paperwork. Hmm. You know, I think part of the reason is I don't put enough in here. Alrighty. Let's put the cap on. And did I bring a napkin to wipe off my glass? Yes. They kind of have a spill factor, though, when you go to pour them. It's probably a good idea to do it over, over a sink or a counter. Alrighty. And my nutcracker glass. And of course, they want you to let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Well, so we will just kind of swirl it in the glass. My, my cute little nutcracker glass it does smell really good. So we'll let this sit and breathe Well, I tell you about it. So again, this is called Galata. It's a, it says it's a Galata Red Indigenous Blend. Indigenous, well, how, whatever that word is, blend. It's hard. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Cut me some slack. What kind of countdown would it be if we didn't throw you a curveball? Named after Istanbul's Galata Port and inspired by Istanbul's famous Grand Bazaar, Galata is a tra treasure trove of ancient and exotic taste that create an incredibly unique tasting experience with a rare blend of Turkish varietals that you won't find anywhere else in the world. It will have your, whoops, it's upside down. It will have your palate weaving through its unique flavors. Relax and let each sip carry you away to a land of ancient sights, lavish art, and mysterious beauty. Alrighty, so its taste are dark cherry, strawberry, raspberry, pepper, and clove. Sweetness is low, acidity is medium, tannins are high, body is full, alcohol is high. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go right back to sleep. I may not make it to the coffee. Uh, pairing guide, spicy meatballs, saucy dishes, Turkish kebabs, wrapped presents, and Persian rugs. They forgot to mention a cozy fireplace. Luckily, my ugly Christmas sweater comes with a fireplace. Yeah, I'll just end up and show you that. So stories behind the wine. As one of the 20 oldest business businesses in the country, the Luka Wines shares its age with the Republic of Turkey itself. Now run by proud third generation winemakers, Deluca takes dedication to excellence to a whole new level. While Turkish wines can be relatively hard to find in the United States, one taste of the unique grapes born from their ancient vines will be enough to make you a fan for life. Alrighty, so while my wine is still breathing, not, not 10 to 15 minutes, I'll just kind of quick show you my ugly sweater today, because today was National Ugly Sweater Day. So it's a one piece thing, but it looks like you got like this knitted vest on over a regular blouse. We have pretend bling and one side. We got these little jingle bells right here that's got some sparkles on them. We got two fireplaces with a puppy, I think it's a puppy, puppy and a kitty cat sleeping. We got jingle bell buttons and some snowflakes, gingerbread men, and a gingerbread house. So it's got a little bit of everything on it. Yeah, I'm always afraid I'm going to miss the stool when I go to sit down. So, yeah, because I, I, I can be klutzy. Alrighty, so here's my wine. So, Vlogmas, mini Vlogmas number six. So, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Cheers. I hope everybody goes out and has a fantastic day tomorrow, and we will chat again in a couple hours. Bye-bye, everyone. It's good. Alrighty, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.